Okay, lesson number four, chapter three. Um, this one, or this time, it's about the minor uh, triads. So, we'll start again with the G. To get your minor triad, you flattened your third. So, this is our third, isn't it? B is our third with the G. G major triad, as you can remember. So, when you say flattened your third, it goes down. So, flat means minus, as I said um, early on when we're familiarizing ourselves with the fretboard. If it's going down, it's flat. Going up, it's sharp. So, it's a plus minus thing. So, minus. So, from your third here, or major third, flat third. So, you move backwards. So, your G minor triad goes from G flattened third and then back to the fifth instead of that's major and then minor another shape to to do so if I put my fingers like this this is my first finger one two three four so I'll be using my fourth finger from my one four and then my third finger but on the string below so this is my minor shape if I use my middle finger for the root my my minor third would be my index but it's um, flattened third and it will just be the same uh, if I go to my C note which is below G then flatten third again and then fifth or so one or first finger fourth finger third finger but below the note below all right so if we move to a flatten third we go to D and then E or the open and then flatten third is G and the fifth is B so E G B with the G G B flat D with C C E flat because it's flattened third, isn't it? Instead of E minus, so E flat and G with A, um, the flattened third instead of C sharp is C, so and E, so A, C, E with D, flattened of F sharp is F, so D, F, A, and then back again to E, E flatten third is G and B so E G B E G B I hope this sort of helps guys but it's very very essential that you know your major triad and your minor triads see you again in the next lesson bye